Oxventure Blades in the Dark merch is available now. Catch Volusport's newest and most notorious gang of thieves red-handed in an all-new scene. Nab this stunning piece of Oxventure art on a t-shirt or as a poster. Then declare your allegiance for Edvard's hated rival, the ruthless industrialist Amadeus Astor, with an Astor Interventions pin. Just don't let Edvard see you wearing it, or we'll never hear the end of it. Add these precious pieces to your collection by going to store.outsideextra.com. Previously on Oxventure presents Blades in the Dark, Lilith and Zilla were lured from HQ by Pickett of the Lamp Blacks, only to find upon their return that they had been robbed. Their plans and gear for the gang's heist on the Dimmer Sisters' mansion were gone. After their Lamp Blacks escort Hook failed a clumsy attempt on their very lives, they coerced him into singing like a canary. Now, armed with the knowledge that Pickett plans to gain favor with the Dimmer Sisters and usurp the Lamp Black's leader Baz so Baz, they have crashed the wedding of his daughter, hoping to retrieve their things and stop Pickett's plan. But will their disguise be blown by an unintended toast from Lilith? You look around, but you can't get a sight of anyone. The glasses appear to be making it so dark that you can't really make out any faces clearly at all. You just take the glasses away from your face, Lilith, so that you can you know, look around the room properly. You make sure that no one is looking your way when you do this, but unfortunately, you're also holding your champagne glass up here, and as you take it away, uh, it just hits the glass in a loud ding, ding, ding way, oh. and the room goes hushed. And everyone well, that's unlucky. I'm sweating with social anxiety at the description of that, like IRL. <laughs> like suddenly having to give a wedding speech at yep. someone else, at, at a stranger's wedding. <laughs> These thoughts race through your head, Zilla. Uh, and the, the band kind of like, du, du, they tail off. Du, 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 du. <laughs> I just whip the glasses back on and I just go <sighs> to the brides. There's a pause. To the bride! To the bride! <laughs> another, short, another short speech. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Very good. Brevity was what everyone was looking for in that situation. Uh, yeah, <laughs> nicely done. Nicely done. Okay, uh, but unfortunately, yes, you haven't seen Junker. I'll tell you some stuff that you did see though. So now there is um, dancing in the in the in the middle of the room. People getting in, in, involved in in dancing. Baz is still uh, at the top table, which has not been cleared away to make. Uh, room for a dance floor just chat chatting uh with both cornelia and bell and the sort of other kind of senior members of the family uh around the edges of the room some games have been set up there is um jump rope hopscotch which is huge in geth in volisport <laughs> and um tortoise racing uh huh. yeah so people are dancing having fun drinking playing games racing tortoises racing tortoises yeah okay well okay. Um, <clears throat> If I were Junker, I would be here, but I'm not. I'm not here as Junker. Uh, you in, haven't in, seen Junker in the crowd. So where else? Where else is there to be? There's the kind of backstage area, catering. Maybe, maybe Junker's still involved in a sort of logistical capacity. I think we've got to get into the back backstage area. Like, where else can he be? We've seen the outside of the venue. He's not on security detail. And even if he's not backstage, I think there'd be useful stuff. Is is has has the second buffet opened yet? Has the the set reception buffet? I know they've 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 had their main posh reception meal. Yeah, yeah. But where? No, are no the that pork, is pork the, that is the question. That's yeah. the main. Um, is there a buffet? Uh, What's the cake situation now? I'm gonna roll for the quality have of the second it? buffet. Okay. It's a six. Uh, yeah, there is a um, delightful spread uh, alongside one wall. Um, it is. Uh, yeah, there's there's all sorts of food. There's delicious smoked meats, um, like wonderful mm. barbecue. There's there's a really really uh, bountiful uh, vegetarian and vegan options, which is not something you find often in in Volusport. It smells brilliant, and actually there are a lot of people kind of queuing up with plates. And you know what? Because that was a nice idea. Yeah, in the queue uh, you see Junker, um, ah. uh, broad and just. But almost bursting out of his wedding suit. This looks like a suit that was maybe bought years ago for a court appearance, uh, and, <laughs> and and is is now kind of being strained a little at the buttons. Junker's just piling pulled pork onto a 
plate. You are sort of halfway uh, across the room, uh, let's say. He hasn't seen you yet. He's pretty focused on the food. So, let's uh, let's see where he takes his food. Like, if he goes to sit down, does he isolate himself? Cool. No need to roll for that. Um, when My hitman brain. <laughs> when eventually, uh, good instincts, when eventually Junker has finished loading up this plate with, he's making a pulled pork sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, you don't want to eat that sandwich in polite company. No. He's, no. he's visiting the buffet to eat, not to not to socialise. That's right. So he's definitely going to go and isolate himself so he can like really eat this giant. Just enjoy oh, yeah, just Go joke. to yeah. town on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Quite literally yeah, 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 go yeah. ham on this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He, yes. Um, uh, in fact, as he's piling it up, he appears to think for a moment and then removes the bread from the plate and puts huh. it rather sloppily back on the pile so that he can make room for more of the pork. Oh, pork. no. Yeah. Oh, he touched it. Oh, uh, no. And, and you know... Uh, but yeah, sets, sets off walking towards a corner. As you see Junker heading off, yeah, uh, you spot Pickett uh, wearing a smart suit, mm. um, and Pickett comes storming up to intercept Junker and just grabs him by the lapel the and, and looks at the food and shouts so loudly that I think it's fair that you can overhear it at this point. It's just something along the lines of, mm. "What the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be on wine duty. Do you know how many?" Empty glasses I can see looking around here. This evening has to go perfectly. Junker sullenly um, puts his plate down on the nearest nearest spot and heads through a back back room that you assume leads to some sort of cellar, wine cellar, something like that. Yeah, the wine place. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, let's say, um, let's say also that just nearby, someone who's running the hopscotch game uh, is just like, Oh, ladies, would you care for a go on the hopscotch? I'm I'm on duty. I'm working. No hopscotch for me. Thank oh, you very much. Thank you so much for your opportunity. I will come back later, but right now I really need to go top up my glass. Of course, no problem. No problem. Uh, I imagine a, a, a highfalutin a celebrity lady such as yourself. Um, my yeah, must, uh, well, could, could I? Would it be too rude to ask? I promise I'll keep it to myself. But um, who are you? What um, might I know um, you from? Oh, you're insulted. Oh, just, you're you're mortally mortally I, insulted. I would hope that a true fan would recognise me by my voice alone. Uh, which now that I hear it a little, yes, yes, I, yes, from um, of course, yes, I, yeah, I, rem I remember it very. I, I love your work. Thank you. I very very much appreciate that. No. No, pro no problem. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, and yeah, he, he sort of melt, melts back into the, the background. Um, as he goes, he shouts, um, Hopscotch competition! Have a go at Hopscotch! Best score wins a bottle of uh, Basso Baz's finest vintage. And actually, now you, I'm, I'm sort of, yeah, let's say, let's say actually, now you notice, you, you see that all these games kind of around the room, uh, they have like on the on the sort of tables near them. They have a they have a, a beautiful glass of, of uh, a beautiful bottle, sorry, of of red wine, posed up very nicely, huh. with some little electric lights kind of shining on it. This, these are sort of prizes for guests. You, is the impression you get? Well, that's nice. Hmm. Can we use that? Well, we'll get, I think keep that keep that in our back pocket. I'd like I'd like to go follow uh, Junker somehow. Yeah. I'm gonna look for a bathroom. Look for a bathroom. <laughs> yeah, we, we go in the direction that Junker went. Yeah. Uh, presumably yeah. it's off the side door. Yeah, sure, no worries. Uh, you push through this door uh, and are Im immediately met with a waiter coming the opposite way who says, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, this area is off limit to guests. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm looking for the bathroom. Oh, I would be happy to show you where it is. Oh, lovely. Um, I'm, I'm really impressed by the catering at this event. I was wondering... Thank you. Uh, uh, do you do um, other other events? I'm on the other side of him, like looming over him, <laughs> ready to. Like... Cool, cool. I, okay. I have a rather grand party, you know, planned in mind uh, ah. for a few months' time. Ah. Um, Asked you to do the wine. Asked to see the wine. Yeah, I, I'd like to see, you know, what sort of things that you you have available. Like, what, what's your wine on offer and everything like that. That I'm very much, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, it is. Uh, it, it, I'm sure you'll know um, that it is considered rather gauche to to discuss uh, another potential business opportunity uh, while you are delivering 
another. I suspect this is a test uh, you're you're giving me, madam, uh, to see if I would take the bait. But I, I assure you, our catering company is a. Uh, is 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 above. Wind up to Chucky. <laughs> well, such chicanery. how's this conversation but I, going? But uh, if you, if you don't mind sticking around to the end of the night, I would be more than happy to present you with a. a, a, okay. a, a okay, flashback. Yeah. Okay. Uh, after my adventure on the boat, where I got talking to the wait staff there yeah. about. Uh, unionising. <laughs> yes. I kind of looked into some of the other catering companies just to be like, you know, just this was a useful thing to do. And turns out um, this particular catering company uh, treats it with wait staff particularly horribly. Um, okay. And there have been some rather egregious examples of them not treating their wait staff properly oh um, and not giving them enough breaks. So, for example, I know for a fact that at this wedding, like, there's going to be no bathroom breaks, no lunch breaks or anything and uh, I have a strong suspicion that there was someone that I saw get kicked out earlier because they dared to eat one of the shrimp on offer because they hadn't eaten anything in eight hours and now that you now that you recall actually when you mentioned the bathroom earlier you did see this waiter slightly wince and kind of cross his legs a little bit he yeah. badly needs to go yeah yeah glad I didn't choke him out now you <laughs> <laughs> certainly wet himself, yes. Just just to say, um well the thing is, uh when was the last time you went to the bathroom? <laughs> I know this is a very personal question, but I, I've been looking into this company that you work for. Looking into how often I go to the bathroom. <laughs> he looks well, a little nervous. I'm doing an expose, you see. I'm doing a documentary um, and I need some, I've been doing some research, okay, and uh, we're paying very well for info. I know that this company is not treating you very well. You are not getting paid enough compared to the other caterers out there. The, 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 how much money are we talking? Like, you know how you're getting like one silver an hour? Yep. Everyone else gets five Two coin, I'll tell you whatever you want. Okay. You have All the money right. now. Um, you do have the money now if you want to give it. I, I do, yeah. I, I, give, I give them two coin. I've got the two coin that I got from the university. Oh, yeah. It's still stashed away. Yep. Cool. In my pocket next to my broken rib. <laughs> Ow. But it's, it's in a little... My dress has pockets, most importantly. My dress cool. has pockets. Uh, this, this, is, this is more money than this waiter has, has, uh, has, has seen in, in his career. You, you suspect uh, he, he gazes down at it momentarily. And says, but we can't talk here. Uh, c- we can make it down to the wine cellar. Oh, well, I'm, I'm afraid it's, uh, it, there's, there's rather a lot of foot traffic down there. Um, people bringing the wine to and from. You understand it's a... Uh, as I'm sure you saw out there, it's, it's being offered as prizes for some of the games. Maybe there's somewhere else we can talk, though. Um, why don't you two, I say, why don't you two find a quiet corner to have a chat, a quiet back room, and I'll stand guard to make sure no one interrupts. Yes, that would. Yes, that. That's so, right. so somewhere yes. around here, somewhere nearby. Yes. Maybe, yes. A, maybe, a, maybe a staff bathroom. Well, no, that's probably quite busy. Actually, no, it's quiet because no one's allowed to go to the bathroom. So the staff bathroom is staff, bound to be of quiet. Course, that's perfect. No one's used that all day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's sparkling, spotless, sparkling clean. clean. Yeah. Uh, so I tell you. So right now, you've you've gone through this door off of the sort of main reception area, and you are in a nondescript brick uh, corridor. At the end of it, there is a, a staircase leading down, which you assume goes down to the, the cellar. And there's a door coming just off this corridor that actually is is um, has you know has a W C uh, thing on it. So that is that is the bathroom. Yes, just it's just here, just in here. All right. Well, you go in. Go on. Go on. Okay. And then mm-hmm. I'll, I'll I'll keep an eye on the door. Cool. He goes Go into on. the bathroom. Lilith, I guess you're going with him. And Zilla, you're... Stooped. Going downstairs to the wine cellar. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. cool. Yep, fine. I, well, I wait a second. I give it yeah. a, a yep. polite moment. Give it a polite <laughs> moment. Uh, so, Lilith, I suppose you're trying to keep this fellow talking uh, while, yes. Zilla, you perform your scoping yep. out yep, yep, liberation. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Yep. Let's stay with... Uh, Lilith, I'm sure you'll have no problem talking. I, I mean, the the... The amount of uh, literature that that you have absorbed and are, are, have have basically been able to like recite about workers' rights in Volisport, you mm-hmm. you are on home turf here. You you know your stuff. Uh, so let's 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 focus on Zilla. All right. Well, I make my way down to the wine cellar, uh, down yep. the brick staircase, I imagine, yep. 
and um, and then I, I sort of uh, just slow towards the bottom of the stairs and, and see if I can hear. Uh, can I hear or sense anyone in the in the cellar? Is Junker still down here? Make me a roll to find out. Okay, I'll do a survey roll. Cool. <clears throat> oh, it's a six. It's a crit. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, yeah, you press your ear up against uh, the, the wooden door at the base of this uh, staircase, and you can hear clearly uh, the sound of Junker grumbling. Uh, it's like not hungry work. I am a guest after what I did earlier today as well. I should be. I am a guest. I did get an invite. I sh- shouldn't be on wine duty, really. And some clanking of bottles. It's, uh, Junker is in here complaining to himself. All right. Getting wine ready, probably to to bring out. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. Well, um, I uh, uh open the door. Yep, Junker is um, um, Junker is facing o- away from you. The room is is you know the walls are full of wine, uh, you know like stacked up, and Junker is at the Junker is at the far end. What did you roll? Was it a six? A six, yeah. Okay. Um, not only uh, do you see Junker facing away from you, uh, like pulling armfuls of wine uh, down from out of the the you know little wine holes uh, that they're in. <laughs> Yeah, um, the wine holes. Wine holes, yeah. The, the, the wine lattice. <laughs> the wine lattice, yeah. The wine lattice. Pulling bottles down out of the wine lattice. You also see, tucked away in a corner, um, behind a shelf full of wine, mm. you see a big pile of stuff that you immediately recognise, Zilla, as your <gasps> things. Of course, he didn't, have to, he didn't have time to go and stash it, to stow it. That's Anywhere right. else? It is all of your stuff. You can see the the lantern is what catches your eye, but there's also uh, like the stacks and stacks of papers. There's there's all of the books. It's uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff. You it it's I would say it's 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 going to be a troublesome amount to to remove. Is your assessment as you look at it, at least by yourself or without some kind of plan? But there is your stuff. Cool. All right. Well, I was going to interrogate Junker, but I think my priority has shifted to recovering our stuff. No, let's confront Junker. We're here now. Cool. In for a penny, in for a pound. I can take him. Yeah. All right. I lock the door behind me. Or I I close the door behind me. I don't know if it's lockable. Sure. It's a wine cellar. All right. I take off my sun shunners because it's extremely dark down here. I say, oh, you, Junker. It's me. What? Surprised. He turns around. Oh, I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah, you are. He's got a bottle of wine in his hands. He just throws it at you. Well, I mean, I obviously started this encounter, so I am ready yeah. for that. And I easily just, like, move my head to one side. Okay. In- again, it is embarrassing for him how easily I just... This time, let's see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. bye. But All we, right. but we roll this. In. What, what, what are you aiming to do? Just stand there and shout to him, or are you, are you, are you attacking? Mm, yeah, all right. I dodge, I dodge under the yep. bottle of wine mm-hmm. and body him into, uh, into like a, a stack of, I don't know, like a stack of barrels behind him or something. Yeah, you know, like cool. a beer, beer casks or whatever. A, a fine yeah. aspiration. All right, so you want me to do a wreck roll, I think that is. I'm going to wreck him and or several big old ba- beer barrels. Yep. Huh. Oh, it's a pair of fives. A pair of fives, five. nice. Five okay. by five. Nice, success with uh, complication. Okay, let's say um, you nimbly dodge the wine bottle. Uh, you duck under it, exactly as you say, and just steamroll into Junker, who is caught completely off guard, and... With a huge crash, you plough through uh, a bunch of barrels that were, were empty, uh, and he is lying winded on the floor, gasping for air. As you sort of stand up and dust yourself off and look down at him, you hear the door behind you open, and um, a oh. woman in sort of, you know, the weight weight uniform uh. is, is basically walks in and is just like, <laughs> <laughs> oh damn it. Uh, 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 oh, oh no, oh no! He was stealing. Okay. <laughs> sure, I've caught a thief here. It is a, a beer thief, wine thief. A beer and wine uh, thief. A beer and wine thief. We've been told to, to steal one is dreadful, but to, 
<laughs> to steal. Hang on, hang on. What? He's stealing all the drinks options. To steal one is a terrible thing, but to steal both. Oh I know. I, I'm getting up and like dusting myself off and just yeah, just kind she, of stif- stifling him with one arm. Like, yeah, she walks over and, and uh, looks at uh, Junker and says, Is this true what you did? Junker obviously starts to yell, No! <laughs> get, get Picket! Run! Get Picket oh, now! I, I, I choke her unconscious. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. So I, str- I straighten while she's kind of like bent over Junker. She's like, you know, because she she recognises him. He, he's one yeah. of the wedding party. Well, not one of the wedding party, but yeah, one of the yeah. one yeah. of the team, one of yeah. the wedding team. Mm-hmm. And um, so I straighten up, kind of dusting myself off and position myself behind her and like slip her bicep under her chin cool. and and quickly squeeze, quickly and gently squeeze her unconscious. Sure, um, I'm going to need another roll for that. Yeah, you. Yeah, you, I know. I know you do. I know you do. Well, I think that's a skirmish because it's a little more dex, a, a little more dex, dexterous, yep. a little yep. less violent. Because of course, she is a perfectly innocent bystander, and it does. I do feel a pang of guilt as I roll two threes. <laughs> yeah, uh, you um you you go to you go to choke her out, but um, although she is slight, she's wiry, and no. she actually manages to slip out from under your thing, and um, she just kicks out at the back of your leg, uh, which just sort of forces you down onto onto one knee, uh, and Ow. she scrambles away, and she's she sprints out the room, shouting, Oh, no! Picket! Miss Picket! Oh, loud. Uh, by oh, the loud. Time, by the time you have stood up again, um, Junker is still on the ground and winded. Winded. He's, he's not doing anything. Dazed. By the time you're you're standing up, um, this woman has has, has come back. What? Uh, with uh, yeah. It doesn't with... take me that long to get to my feet. All right. By the time you've got to your feet and looked around and gone, oh no, she's come back <laughs> and uh, has Picket with her. No, surely she can't. Re- she can't retrieve Picket in in the thirty seconds it takes for me to get to my feet. Thirty seconds to run back into a room, find someone. In an, in an urgent way uh, and get to follow you I kind of think nah. well also, you're the storyteller okay. but here's what I'll say uh, Lilith you heard from as you were talking to the the, the, the waiter in the bathroom you heard uh, coming along the corridor outside Miss Pickett Miss Pickett Miss Pickett Miss Pickett Miss Pickett Miss Pickett and then a few moments later coming back <laughs> and, is this way is this way she tried to attack me she tried to attack me and, 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 and talk sense woman yeah so you you are aware that uh, you are aware that Pickett is heading down to the basement, I suppose. Okay, all right. Well, I'm 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 chatting to my ni- nice waiter friend. I hear that, and I'm like, okay, I need to go, and I need to follow this way because I, Pickett has been in leagues with your bosses. Like the reason why you're being paid so little is because Pickett drive the price down even further. Like if you think you're getting overtime for this, listen, I, I, I don't I don't want to I don't want to mess with the lamp blacks. I didn't think that's what this was. I don't want no trouble oh, with them. Oh no no no, that's fine. That's fine. This is this is. You, they won't know who you are. This is all completely anonymous. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. You swear. Yes. Yeah. I've just got to keep an eye on her. She's not my main culprit, but I've just got to keep an eye on her because uh, she's a fountain of information about your company. If anything, <laughs> she's the one that's got to be worried. This is getting a bit too rich for my blood. Look. I won't. I won't say anything. But I'm going. To, I'm going to take the money and go. And and he just sort of pushes out the bathroom and, mm-hmm. and down the hurries down the corridor and out out into the party. Okay. All right. So um, I would like to like sneak down the stairs yep. and to the door, like so that I'm just like sneaking behind the door and keeping an eye on what's happening with Zilla, so I can like jump in when needs be. Cool. From through the door, you can hear quite clearly Pickett's distinctive rasp uh, as. Actually, she turns to the um, she turns she she Yuzilla, you see this obviously. She turns to the woman who brought brought her brought her running, and says, "Um, oh, there's been a misunderstanding. Miss Zilla here is an honoured guest. Please go back to your duties." Uh, and the uh, um, woman is like, "Okay, Miss Miss Pickett, if you're sure." Lilith, no need to roll for this. You can just as the door just opens, you can just like just there. And she <laughs> she walks out. Yeah, but she has now left. The room so in the basement uh, in the cellar now Zilla there is just Pickett and uh, the winded Junker with you um, and she says uh, Zilla I'm delighted you could make it are you yes I didn't think you would come but I'm delighted you, you thought have. I'd be dead didn't you 
don't know what you're wicked. talking about. Do you not? No. How she did ne- this stuff get here? I point, I point at the, the stolen goods and artifacts and intel. Well, I've never seen that before in my life. What is it? As, as you have this conversation, she is just sort of taking a winding sort of walk towards you, Zilla. Not so fast, Picket. I take a step back. We know your game. We know you're planning to overthrow Baz. So Baz, we've had we, with your man Hook. He's dead. We got him. Has Hook done something naughty that I didn't want him to do? He's done something naughty that you did want him to do. He tried to stab me. I got his knife. Take the S- knife out. Some. Oh well. I see you. I see you have encountered him. Sometimes it can happen. I I trusted him, but I was wrong to place my trust in him, apparently. And he's gone and betrayed me. And stolen your lovely things into the bargain. What an upset. What an upset, Zilla. You must be fuming. She's still sort of moving to they They're a not lamp one. lighters, they're gas lighters. <laughs> <laughs> She's a slippery one. Mm-hmm. Pick it. We know your game. We're going to expose you to Baz so Baz. And then you'll be in trouble. If there's a problem, I would be delighted to help bring you news of Hook's treachery to Baz. She's sidling up to you now and she's right up, right up close to you. She's in your back away again. I see you, Pickett. You're up against the you're up against the the brick wall now, stood in the sort of debris. Can't just keep talking at me and getting closer and closer. It's not my first rodeo. Flashback. I uh, did some research into the Lampblacks and uh, kind of various uh, enemies of theirs who were kind of oft in slightly unusual ways. Okay. And I had a chat with my with my uh, pal Flint. Like, well, like he's been he's been recovering and he yep. managed to find someone for me who actually had a victim of pickets. Okay. Um, bottled uh, somewhere, so uh, I I've bas- I made basically made a deal with someone. I've got to go and find another spirit for them in return. But I've I've got this per this spirit in a spirit bottle on my person, and I would like to run into the room. Well, not run into the room, but like sneak into the room, just just and just throw down the bottle and smash it so that the ghost has appeared. Yeah. And okay. Like. A horrible, like it's it, it's fine with me. I've had a chat with it beforehand, and I'm like, pick it, pick it is kind of can we see with it? us before? Well, I mean, before we find out whether we can see it, uh, okay. this feels like a two stress flashback uh, to me. Okay. So uh, mark that off, and I tell you what. So, what is your aim? You want to release this ghost, and presumably the ghost and then will attack. Pick it in in a vengeful, ghoulish rage. That would be the um, that would be the plan, right? Yes. Like the I've said to the ghost that this is for you to uh, decide how you want to do it. Whether you want to, you know, just do you want a ghost murder? It's none of my business. Sure. Uh, well, I think we need a roll to as well as the two stress. I think we need a roll to find out how that attunement went. Okay. Ooh. Oh, five and a six. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Okay, you 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 creep in. You see, Pickett is like all up in Zilla's personal space, and Zilla kind of back to, back to, uh, uh, against the wall, uh, a look of a look of uh, indecision on on her face. And Lilith, you just lob this bottle mm-hmm. uh, into the into the center of the room where it breaks, and uh, a um, uh, the sort of hunched fi- uh, figure of a of a of, of an old man uh, is 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 kind of standing there with a with a walking stick. Um, you can to you Zilla, it is formless. Um, mm-hmm. You can just see a, you can tell it's a ghost. You can see see <gasps> the see the light, but it sort of has no outline and no features. Um, mm. Lilith, having attuned with it, it's um, you can you can see that this is a, a very like a very elderly um, man uh, with with a stick, but in death. Uh, he is he is extremely mobile and and he sort of moves up to to pick it and goes pick it pick it you killed my son you killed him 
Uh, Picket obviously spins round and goes ah, <laughs> and, <laughs> and then the uh, the elderly ghost just jams its hands in, inside ah. Picket's mouth uh, oh, and God. just just starts to pull uh, ah. and 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 just Lilith, what's happening? is trying to fit its own head inside ah. Picket's mouth. You ruined my life, Picket. Now. Let me ruin your very soul. And it's just, the old man ghost is just climbing in the mouth of Pickett, whose jaw is just like ah, horribly oh, extended. Wow. Um, you can let this continue, and this uh, the spirit of this old man will possess and kill Pickett, or you can step in. It's entirely up to you. I'm too terrified to do anything because ghosts are very, very scary to me. Mm-hmm. And this is a scary one. And Junker, uh, I imagine. Oh yeah, Junker, Junker is hunched over in silent prayer, just praying to any gods that will listen. Okay. I'm like, scra- I scrabble behind me and grab like a wine bottle. <laughs> yeah, you and Junker are holding each other, Zilla. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Junker, help me, why? Because we can't actually see the, we can't see the ghost. It's even more horrifying, if anything, because it's just yeah. Picket with her mouth going wider and wider, and it's horrifying. Yeah, like a yeah, okay. like a like a snake Junker. trying to swallow something. Except hold if, me. Yeah, except if the pig was trying to get into the python. Crikey. Right, okay, so I would like to step forward into the room, just Mm -hmm. holding another spirit bottle. Okay. And just calmly say to Pickett, I can make this stop. (laughs) Uh, Pickett is unable to uh, use words right now, but but is looking at you in a a clear desperation. If you want me to make this stop... Hold your hand like this. Okay, put it on your head. That's you, lol. <laughs> okay, and I would like to I would like to call the ghost and be like, your revenge is made and I will give you sweet rest. Yeah. She will be dealt with, the ghost says to you, Lilith. Oh, is he not? He's not listening to me. No, no, no. Sorry. The ghost says to you, Lilith. Right. She, referring to Pickett, she will be dealt with. Promise me. Uh, oh, I promise. Qu- question mark. I will ruin her life. Mm. And I'm saying this knowing that Pickett can hear me. Sure. Very well. Thank you for the opportunity. And the ghost whoop, backs in, into the back into the bottle. Into the, and I'm like in there. I'm like, oh, and by the way, it, if my plan doesn't work, you're more than welcome to return and look at Pickett. Cool. Uh, Pickett is uh, sort of hunched over, just holding her jaw. Uh, which is, you know, halfway broken at, at, at this stage. Yeah. Uh, she sort of gain, regains some composure and says, Look, look, I'm pretty sure we can come to some sort of arrangement. Sure. I have money. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I I don't really want to make any arrangements with you because I'd like to make another flashback. Okay. Mm. All right. Um, Basically, in Hook's uh, lamp lighting stick, yeah, thing, I like looked at it. Hook's 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 lamp lighting hooks, stick. Hook's yeah. lamp lighting yeah. stick. Mm-hmm. The weapon that's in a present on the table upstairs. That's in a present on the table upstairs. Yeah. Basically, I found that there was like a compartment in there because he didn't trust himself to remember all of the various steps to this plan. So within a hidden compartment, okay, is a list of like various different things and there's also like code words in there that only Pickett would know so a little aid identifies. memoir yeah a little like and, and he, he thought he was being all clever hiding it in there but he didn't think he'd ever get caught and... yeah okay um, yep secret compartment hidden in the weapon yeah that's mm-hmm. uh, uh, that's I'm gonna say that's another two stress but no need to roll for that I don't think okay. yeah okay. Um, well I mean that currently now exists up in the present upstairs mm-hmm. In yeah. the present, as in literally in the wrapped mm-hmm. gift. Right, pick it. I, I know you did this, and I know exactly how to prove that you did it. You've got nothing. Nothing. <sighs> oh, I've got plenty. But I've got money. I've got money. I'll make you rich. Look, I think there's other people that I would rather have on my side, and to be honest, uh, the second in command of the Lamp Blacks isn't as impressive as the top guy you know the one that you wanted to 
you know, kill and overthrow and was plotting on the very day of his daughter's wedding? <laughs> when you put it like that, it sounds really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm admitting to anything, you understand? Hmm, <laughs> well, you kind of are. I think at this point, Pickett is... Pickett doesn't know that you've got this proof. Um, mm-hmm. But Pickett is soundly beaten. Um, mm-hmm. I think Pickett probably is going to try and just make a run for it. Uh, mm-hmm. I think. Um, or possibly make a run to Baz. Yeah, yeah. That's. I think that's, I think that's Pickett's... In, 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 in the head of Pickett, that's Pickett's best move currently. She sort yeah. of stumbles past I, you and, and runs upstairs. Can I, like, rugby tackle her by the ankle? Ugh, that's Are not you... a rugby tackle, is it? <laughs> I grab her <laughs> by the ankles. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, yeah sure, it's, it's, certainly. Um, it's, uh, I think that'll need a roll, um, just because you, right. you were in a cowering, hugging... Um, yeah, no, I was terrified. Position, yeah. I do my best. I, I try to arrest uh, the forward momentum of Pickett as she makes a run... Yeah. the stairs cool. and i roll a five okay yeah you um you uh you you slam her to the ground uh, and she's not going anywhere but before you as your complication before you yep. can like get a hand over her mouth she shouts as loudly as she can buzz buzz uh, <laughs> i can't Baz! stop people and coming down into this bloody wine cellar. yeah everyone's hanging out in this everyone's hanging out in this wine oh cellar. it's the it's the kitchen right. in the party isn't it mm-hmm. all the cool kids down yeah. in the wine cellar yeah Okay, all right, so we don't have long. Uh, pick it. If you keep your trap shut, we've got evidence, you see. We can prove. Your boy, he was a dummy. I mean, he's dead now, obviously. He's dead and gone. He, we fed him to the fishes, but he is dead and gone, and he was a right idiot because he wrote down your entire plan, and we've got the proof. Now, we can kill you now, or we can keep you alive, and you'll be our little pet lamp black. And you'll do what we say, and we won't out you to Baz, but we will have this over you for the rest of your life. Deal. Yes. Good choice. That's the smartest thing you've said all day. The smartest decision you've made. What do you think, Lilith? Yeah. I think we should spare her. I think better the devil you oh, know. Hey, I think that we seems should nice, spare but we her, don't know. But... Yeah. We spare her. We've got something over her. She's Having got... this over her sounds pretty badass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll we'll have something over her forever. Okay. Baz would surely punish her severely. He would he would have her killed if mm-hmm. he were to know about this conspiracy. Mm-hmm. And obviously, if she succeeds in the conspiracy, well, no, we don't want that because then we won't have anything over her. <laughs> it's in our interest that the conspiracy does not succeed. So yeah. that will be something to keep yeah. an eye on. Like basically, we we've got we've got this over. If, if like if you try this, then we can we show this to Baz. Blackmail. It is that's our security. Um, mm-hmm. uh, quick, help me stuff all of this stolen stuff into an empty barrel, into an empty wine yeah. barrel. We stuff everything into an empty wine barrel. Yeah, yeah. no worries. Uh, I tell you what. Let's say by the time you have stuffed everything into an empty wine barrel, uh, um, yeah. Pickett is just sort of sat there uh, exhausted and and fairly defeated and and so is junker as you are as you you've just finished putting everything in the wine battle at bo- uh, barrel and you've got the top on it dunk when the mm-hmm. uh the door swings open and uh baz is there and let's say cornelia as well baz just looks around the room and says pick it i was told there was a problem is there pick it looks up at baz so a quick glance at you zilla no, boss. I, I briefly thought we were running out of the good wine, but um, I found some, so we're not. I'm on the other side of Bass, and I'm like, mm-hmm, yes, good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I imagine Lilith is like, wine for that spirit battle. Yeah. <laughs> Cornelia is, is, is like, uh, Dad, can we get back to my wedding? It's time for the first dance. And um, the, the Baz is like, yes, uh, pick it. I think maybe you've been uh, indulging in the supply down here, I w- wouldn't wonder. He doesn't really think she's drunk, but he's trying to make light of a very suspicious situation. You can tell that he is filing away, mm-hmm. um, that something's going on here, and that and that he is going to be on his guard around Pickett from now on. Um, he, uh, he turns to you, Lilith, and says, I, I wasn't aware that we had... Uh, 
uh, someone so famous here at the party. Please, would you uh, uh, join me upstairs back at the reception? Um, may I get you a drink? Oh, I would love that. C- can I just say, you look absolutely dashing. And your daughter, Cornelia, you look absolutely stunning. What a, a wonderful dress. Both you and Belle have, have immaculate choices in your fashion. I'm, I'm so, I'm so in awe. Cornelia goes, yeah, cheers. Um, and uh, Baz is like, we really must be going. Uh, time for the dance. Uh, and leads you all up to the reception. Uh, Pickett follows and is also there. And I think it's probably safe to say that you spend the rest of the evening um, dancing away, drinking and having just a, a rare old time doing tortoise Aww. races and just really enjoying the wedding. Um, Baz seems to be a very gracious and generous host. Lilith your, uh, and Zilla, your, your cups are never empty. Pickett dances half-heartedly. Uh, yeah, I get, I get Pickett on the dance floor and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> and she can't stop me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Uh, Pickett dances through the night unwillingly, uh, <laughs> before eventually saying, "I'm, I'm, uh, I'm knackered. Uh, I might, might, um, might head probably want to do something about that jaw." Yeah, I might go out of this scene too. Um, <laughs> I roll the barrel out of the wine cellar. Oh, through yeah. like you know one of the, the, the there's probably an outdoor trapdoory thing, right? Yeah, yeah, and I, I'm sure you are strong enough to lift it bodily up the <gasps> kind of get it up out out of the thing yeah so that lilith while you're outside you grab hold of it and you roll it all the way back and you roll it into eleanor's largely legal antiques and unpack everything just in time uh for the other three to come spilling in from the the pub that they were in look um, who it is <laughs> <laughs> and um oh whose voice do i want to do uh and and casimir uh looks around and says i uh, did we miss did we miss something? I'm just like playing. I managed to like sneak over to the gift table, and like the, oh, yeah. the box the had like material. Yeah, we're gonna the need box that. Had, you like, got that. Little... You got that out of there. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the box had a little flap on it. Sure. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And I basically very bad form I take to be out... seen leaving yeah. the wedding party with, with the a wedding gift. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I take out the hook. <laughs> yeah. Um, you got that. That's and, fine. And the club, and I, and eventually I, they will open it. No, we should leave the. We should leave something in it. Should we leave the baton and then I'll no, also that's my I'll baton. S- yeah, my that's my baton. So I'll, t- I'll take those. But but what I've done is I while we were in the cellar, yeah. um, like on the way out, I yeah. I picked up a bottle of something and I put it in there. All right. Very smart. Okay. Good. Cool. Uh, so a bottle of house wine as the wedding gift. But that's all right. I don't I don't I don't think you put a label on it. So um, so yeah. So that's that's fine. Enjoy. Uh, yeah. And yeah. So we're we're back at the scene. Um, all right. I'm sitting jauntily on the upturn on on the empty crate on the empty bottle. No, yep. oh, sorry, the empty barrel. The empty barrel yep. is the, the empty word. barrel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Casimir says, "Did I? Did we miss anything?" Pick. Boy, howdy, did you? We have a story to tell you. Everyone. And just as you say that, Zilla Hook just falls out bodily out of the front of the um the. Hook! <laughs> <laughs> hey. Cool, and we'll call it there. I think. Um, nice. Right, great job, great job. That was so awesome that you have pick it now as your over pet. a barrel. You over might say over a barrel. Mm. You might say that was rad. Uh, I was sort of hoping she would die so I could stop doing the voice, but no, uh, never. But in the service, <laughs> in the service, we'll never of, let her die. In the service of the narrative. She's not only alive, but has become a larger part of the fiction. You shouldn't have so made that's... her so endearing. <laughs> so that's great. Or made her voice easier. Yeah. Well, I Maybe when she has jaw Baz surgery, she'll her, come back so. with a new voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She has larynx yes. and jaw surgery. Yeah. She's Yes, no, she's been... The, the, the ghost made it partway down her throat. So she's now got a she bit has of ghost. a soft, yeah. milky ghost voice. Yeah. Now she talks Ooh. like this. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Zilla and Lilith. She sounds it's exactly like Luke yeah. Westway. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um, now we're going to do. I don't know that. Yeah. Now it's time to do entanglements. Uh, let's see what the consequences were of this um, of this whole mess that we got ourselves into. Heat. Uh, after a score, the crew takes heat. One heat for a high-profile or well-connected target. They were absolutely well-connected. If it happened on hostile turf. You know what? I don't think it did actually. If this had been like neutral. the HQ, that's fine. Yeah, it was, you know, it was a wedding, turf. wedding venue. Um, don't forget the two heat at the beginning. Is that is that just already, on me? 
individually uh, or oh no that's on the crew but i've already i've already put that on <laughs> you've already factored that in, in fact okay. i put that on when it happened yeah right good, good uh plus two heat if killing was involved amazingly it was not so yeah. that is just plus one heat and then it's time to run entanglements so you have three heat and one wanted level roll dice equal to your wanted level that's just one and read the mm-hmm. result according to your heat Oh, that's only a two. Um, and you've got heat zero to three. So that what is... Does it mean? The blue coats grab someone in the periphery of your crew. One player volunteers a friend or vice purveyor as the person most likely to be taken. Make a fortune roll to find out if they resist questioning. So the blue coats are, are arresting someone who you know. Someone connected with the gang. It's up to you two to choose who it is. Oh. Well, I obviously, I don't want to submit one of my friends, but I am thinking it could be Marlene, the pugilist. Oh, yeah. Who, um, who took us to the yep. fighting tourney. She did walk away with quite a lot of money. It might be that she's not been spending it particularly discreetly. Or it could be Flint, because I, he, he was only just depossessed <laughs> by a banshee so that's true he might they he might probably be committed crimes while in the banshee state yeah uh, well, well, well what do we how do we choose how do we choose it's Sophie's you. choice it's up to you well should we should we uh if i roll a die do you oh. want to do that yeah neither of us want to sacrifice our good friends okay so so if, I, if i roll a die why don't we say and... odds odds it's flint evens it's marlene oh yeah go on go on lilith it's a six i'm sorry jane cool. oh Marlaine. no, no Marlaine. 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 Do not despair. Um, like now you have a choice. You can either pay the blue coats off with one coin, which feels slight. I'm going to make that two. Mm. Or uh, I can make a fortune roll to find out if they resist questioning or not. So we can like essentially like get her out you by can break, paying them off. You, yeah, you can head to the blue coats and pay them off if you want yeah, to. Yeah, she's a good friend. I, I pay her cool. off. Cool. I will no pay worries. them off and get her out because she yeah. this heist is a good is former get... friend. No worries. Loads of money as well. So, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We're already we're already spending the take of this mega heist <laughs> for which we are preparing. Isn't that the way it goes? Um, <laughs> can't take it with you. Can't take it into next month. Cool. That is minus two coin then. Brilliant. And you've got a couple of downtime activities. If there's anything you want to get up to, I any, would like any to de-stress, nonsense? please. <laughs> de-stress. I've got cool. a lot of stress. So roll dice equal to your. Uh, how many dots you have in your weakest attributes overall i've got two in prowess but they're both on one side of the line and then i've got two in resolve but one's on the other side of the line so it's two either way i think is mm. it okay what's the third one is it insight insight i've got three in yeah okay cool um so yeah so that would be I've whatever three, is two, your two. whatever's your weakest one so how many dots have you got total in it'll the, be two both two. of them have two in the weakest okay. ones yeah so uh roll me roll me 2d6 then Oh, it's five and five. Five and five. Okay, that's fine. So you clear five stress. How much stress did you have? I had eight. <laughs> okay, cool. Gee, wow. Not know you were running with eight stress. Yeah, yeah. that was that's close at to the end. The at the end, I was explains like, oh. all the champagne that you were yeah. downing. There were a couple of there were a couple of big flashbacks there, weren't yeah, there? Yeah, it was the so, flashbacks yeah. that oh, did yeah, it. Oh yeah, of course. I would like to teach the wonderful mechanical man how to read. Okay. I begin to teach him how to read. Yeah, that's fine. Let's keep that on the same clock because what use is a wonderful mechanical man that can't read? Yeah, yeah, no, it's part It's part of his development. It's part, it's part of, of his yeah. um, early years development. No worries. Okay, so um, tell me how you're rolling for this and... Uh... Oh, okay. Uh, I think it is... Well, I don't have any dots in it, but it's definitely a study roll. Okay. And I, I would like to... I would like to take him under my wing and, like, turn the book the right way up. Okay. Two and take the lower one. In study! It's a four. The lower one's a four. Okay, that's great, though. Nice. That's two pieces ticked. The wonderful mechanical man is only, is very, is very, very, very much nearing completion. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. and, um, and it wheezes to you. A, B, C, D, yes, E, yes, F, yes. G, H, so good. Well I, done, buddy. A, I punch him more gently this time. Falls over. Oh no! no. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Yes, you have taught the wonderful mechanical man to read. Fantastic. Yeah. Can, uh, you can both I... have one more. I would like to try and heal my broken rib. <laughs> sure. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, uh, now because we because you improved the doctoring, roll two d six and take the best result. Okay. Oh, that's two sixes. Crit, 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 crit. Nice. Crit. 
that is a critical. That's five segments. Five segments on your healing clock filled. If that takes you over, uh, you fill in the next one. So how many segments oh, in your? So I've got clock? two already. Okay. So I go one, two, one, two and then three, one, two, four, three. Five. So I'm like three up. Yeah. Already. Yeah. So all of your harm moves down one level. So I think you had level okay. one harm, which was like spooky damage. Spooky is that right? damage. Yeah. That's dissolved. That's your broken lovely. rib is now level one harm, and you are close <sighs> to getting rid of it completely. Yes. Great. And Zilla, you've got one more downtime roll. You know what? I can't help myself. Go back to the fight club. <laughs> cool. Okay. Yeah, do it. <laughs> I go, uh, I hear that Tommy Punchlicker is out of his coma. And I'm like, Tommy, come on, mate. It's cool. time for Let's a rematch. Again. <laughs> rematch. This time you put me in a coma. It'll be hilarious. Okay. Uh, so lowest attribute. Roll the dice. My lowest attribute is low. It's one. It's a single one. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, and it's a one! Hooray! Oh, okay. Hooray! So you clear one stress. Cool. Okay. Nicely done. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to put Tommy back in a coma. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, what was your stress okay. before? Um, uh, your my stress, stress before was two. So I, I lose a single Brilliant. stress. Wow. No, you wait. Were... No, sorry. My stress was one. So I'm oh, back okay. down so, to yeah, zero. You're, you're back down to zero. Wow. Uh, no Zilla. stress. It was very that was easy. A, that was a dangerous move. Very, very <laughs> yes, unlikely yes, to yes, succeed. Yes, yes. That's kind of its own sort of crit. I'm well, so mellow. I'm so relaxed. So mellow. So mellow. Well, great job, Wedding Crashes. Uh, you did Woo! You did terrific. Woo! Check back next time in a fortnight for more Oxventure Presents Blades in the Dark when yeah. it is time <gasps> for the big one. Everything is in place now. All the pieces have come together. Everything on Casimir's checklist has been checked. It's time to hit the Dimmer Sisters where they are weakest. So, come back in a fortnight for the heist. Going to get inside that vault if you possibly can. Heist get that bracer. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, and that will be the conclusion of phase two, if <gasps> anyone's keeping track of phases apart from me. All right, <laughs> great stuff. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Jane. See Thank you next you. time. Bye. Bye. Bye.